right species, wrong size. Good to see these little fish here though. No sharks. All right, not an overly big Jew, that one. He's probably in the 80s, 80 or so, I think. Bit of revenge for that first fish I lost, which I think might've been a snapper. I'm not 100% sure where the braid broke on me. All right, I've got no sharks underneath me. I'll probably let this one go today. I've got, I've got a bit of fish already from the other day. Oh, he's pretty lively, so he's ready to rock and roll. Off he goes. All right, you probably call that a medium-sized fish for here. Usual gear, three-quarter ounce, five-inch fork flex on my Caden. Started off with a big hook up on this other rod here. Had some gift malfunction there, the braid broke. Think I'll be uh, re-spooling that one with Castaway, I think. It's some old braid anyway, it's getting on, so best to uh, put some new stuff on. Broke just, just in front of the reel actually, so I had the fish most of the way up and then the braid broke. I'm just hoping now it was actually a, um, a Jew, not a big snapper, but I don't know, it's hard to tell. The fish haven't really changed. I think they might have been just Jew, so that's what I'm telling myself anyway. All right, I'll keep plugging away here a bit. Uh, I got that fish up. No shark chasing it, release the fish, no shark under the boat. So there is a couple around, but obviously not too too aggressive today. Just come up with some fish now, so I'll, I'll uh, jump on them. All right, let's try and catch some squid again. First cast, we're on a squid. First cast again. Brilliant. Love it when a plan comes together. Good old first cast squidly. Beautiful. Yep, you do your squidding out there, buddy. All right, so I fixed the holes in my net. There's a few. So I should be able to just lay them down there, like that. See how we go. But you gotta, gotta be happy with that. First cast special. The old Yamashita, 2.5 live, natural sort of yakka pilly color. There's a lot of current here coming around this point so and I'm up quite shallow uh, quite far in towards the bank because it's the high tide so I'll spot locked up because I've got that one here usually there's more than one in an area so just 
spot locked up here. So here we go. Can't, can't complain with one in the first cast though. Alright, I'll we'll pepper it a bit. I might just jump off spot lock and drift back. Yeah, big one. Good squiddy. Yeah, it's not a bad squiddly. Pepper that back spot again, I reckon. <laughs> the squids got out of there again. I don't know how they're getting out. I had two, and now I've got one. So I don't know what's going on there. I can't find the hole. Let me bug it. All right, might come back here on the bottom of the tides. A bit too much water here. All right, two squid from this spot. This is not my preferred tide here, so I might uh, hit another spot for squid, or I'll come back here a bit later on, try and get a couple more. But uh, first cast again. I don't know how they're getting out of my net, but somehow they're getting out of the net just the one to take home so far but i'm sure i'll probably get a couple more later on all right let's go uh next spot have a look for something else all right let's try for some more squid looks like some tuna around here too so i'll just keep that rod ready There we go. There we go. He's not bad. Oh, he's not even hooked, I don't think. Well, that didn't take long. Couple casts in, and we got one. Whoops. Might dispatch of them as I go this time, I think. Definitely keeping a feed, so. Average size, he's not too bad. Clean up the boat a bit. Luckily none on the carpet, just on the actual outside of the boat. I can live with that. All right. Let's get it back in there. There's a big squid on the drop off, that one. That's worth noting. Feels like a better squid. Oh yeah, he's a nice squid. Hello. He hasn't squirted yet, oh, he's squirting a little bit. That's a nicer squid. Be 
be happy if I get them all this size. That's a nice looking squid, that one. Got him on the drop off, so I have a bit more of a go. There we go, we got him. It's all white. I'll just try, try up in the shallows and work it off the shallows, I think. Might be the go. Got these patches of weed here. I might just hit them because I did pull, pull one off there. And then, as you can see, this really drops off and there's a heap of weed down there. Might try a bit of a deeper, deeper run with this one. Mackerel, spotty mackerel. Wasn't expecting that. Yep, got him, yes. Nice mackerel. All right, he's well hooked. I'm gonna haul him in. Oh. Woohoo! All right, so I thought I was chasing some Mac tuna around, but uh, I spun, got the stick bait out, spun stick bait out, and spun it, and uh, had a mackerel follow. So started chasing the chops like that. Threw it in. Nice spotty mackerel. All right, nice spotty. Probably about 70 or so. Ate that Amagari sinking stick bait, 48 gram, 110 mil. Burned it across the the surface and this, this spotty come and grab it. All right, I'm gonna bleed him and uh, put him on ice. They're not very, uh, not very big bust up, small isolated bust up. So it's pretty hard to, to find them again once you've lost them. So I've got a bird over here. I might just move over towards the bird. Just keep my eyes peeled. Any sort of disturbance on the water, I'll... I think there's one behind me. I can't tell. All right, so I've bled that mackerel out. I'll, I'll throw him in the esky now and uh, start making my way back. Um, it's getting pretty late. Pretty glassed out, pretty hot, so keen to get back in the air con, to be honest. So it's pretty hot for this time of year, which is good. So uh, I'll have one more hit for Jill on the way back and see how we go. So I was going to chase a Jew on the way back, but um, got a bit excited and was driving back pretty quick. I did see a boat wake and my uh, electric deployed with the, with the force of the shock of hitting the wave. Uh, so I've just come back to the ramp now. Luckily, it's just a matter of tightening up a couple of, a couple of screws, perhaps. Mm. May have uh, pulled the bolts out from the back end, I think. Yeah, snap the bolts, I'd say. Oh, snap bolts. That's the end of the day's fishing. Go repair that, pull the uh, footage off the cards and hopefully get it tomorrow. We'll see. All right, so that's it. Go fix the uh, electric motor and I'll catch you next time, guys. Catch ya.